You know, when the pandemic started and we first dealt with the shutdown, you know, we talked about the, the great marine philosophy of improvising, adapting and overcoming. And we knew we were going to have to improvise and adapt. We had no idea how much. It's obviously a very uncertain, very difficult time for, for many people around the country and around the world. And we were all kind of sheltering in place, doing what we needed to do back in places we needed to be and trying to train in whatever capacity we could. It's obviously a, a difficult thing to kind of go from expecting one thing to, to a, another. We're very fortunate to be able to come back together and, and train together. Um, it's not a, a privilege that many people have been able to, to get recently. And so I'm, I feel very lucky to be able to train with a bunch of the guys that I, I call my best friends. We're really thankful we're at a place like Stanford where the medical expertise and the support is just amazing. And so, you know, while everybody in their first breath always thinks about how to get around different things, how to get what they want, but sometimes just maybe, just maybe the people in charge know what they're talking about. And it's for our health and safety. First and foremost, people just think about taking care of themselves. But when you're dealing with a pandemic and a situation like this, we're really asking the, the people not just to think about themselves with their actions, but then to think about other people and their loved ones. But then further than that, which is the really difficult one, is to actually think about people that they don't even know. Because when things are getting spread in this situation, you're affecting other people's lives that you have no idea that you're even affecting them. So, we spent a lot of time, you know, looking at the, the current world situation with that and hopefully trying to understand that it's incumbent on each and every one of us to take care of ourselves, but also to have that bandwidth to think about others. The things we love about this program, being together as a team, having the opportunity to step away from that kind of has helped me at least, and I know for a lot of other guys. Uh, just appreciate what we have here and how amazing it is. The training environment has been unique. We've certainly had to adapt to different situations, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just you and a ball, and you can get better regardless of what restrictions you have. Yeah, it's pretty obvious that Stanford is uh, one of the most uh, demanding places in terms of soccer as well as academically as well. Um, and uh, coming in here, I knew I would have to work really hard uh, because the level is a step above uh, everyone else. The rules are obviously uh, something that we have to bear in mind, the, the guidelines for the county and, and from the CDC. So all the training sessions have been adapted to, to fit along with those. So yesterday we had a, a volley competition and shooting gallery essentially. And I love those sessions for me, obviously. It's uh, a lot of saves in, in not a lot of time, um, hopefully at least. You know, it's been awesome starting up training with the guys. Obviously, we've all missed it. We've all been going stir crazy in our different ways. But just, just to be out on the Ulan training pitch, and obviously it's brand new, it's fantastic. You just get that buzz. And I think, you know, when you're on the treadmill of life day to day, sometimes you start to forget how much you appreciate things. And being given a mandatory timeout, I think allows everybody to be just that bit more excited about being together. Seeing the freshmen come in, obviously they were going to be having their normal lap of honour as seniors in high school and all of that wonderful journey getting started in college. Um, they're still really excited to be here because it is a new chapter in life, it's just maybe a slightly different written book than they were expecting. But the older players have been magnificent setting the standard. It wasn't too long ago that I was a freshman and I still remember like all the feelings I had and that was during normal time. It's obviously hard to adjust right now for them and for everyone, especially being a freshman coming, a lot of them coming across the country and just trying to help them out and just build those relationships. And I think being out here for this time in the fall, living off campus is a good opportunity for all of us to just strengthen the bonds and get to know each other. And I think that'll translate onto the field when we're competing against other teams. Now that they've had this, this preliminary time with us, which we're trying to kind of show them the way, how to get ready for a season, how to kind of prepare um, physically, mentally, technically, all these other different ways, tactically, 
so that when it comes to the first time getting ready all together for a proper season, it, it's not like a new experience um, and it's something that they're used to. We've been given challenges with how we're doing things. As a result though, it's really forced us to have a bit more introspection, uh, a little bit more thoughtfulness on how we go about training. It's certainly uh, demanding as coaches trying to come up with unique new drills that you've never really done before based on how we're trying to socially distance and keep everybody safe. But what it, what it does allow us to do, when you remove the competition, the outside competition, you really allow a player to work on mastery. You really allow a player to dig deeper, to stand still and analyze. Because the world over, when you're a soccer player, when you're playing games, if you've won, you're a little bit happier. If you've lost, you're a little bit sadder. And you don't really stand still and think. And you don't really work at your craft as much as maybe you should do. And so this has been a great opportunity for us. And certainly it's been just been exciting training and seeing the guys out there together again. <laughs> I just hope the world just keeps getting better so we can get back to doing what we used to do and people are more healthier, everybody's happy, we're playing soccer, competing, um, there will be fans in the stadiums again and um, that's, I just really hope that the next few weeks we're moving towards a positive part of our lives. I think I speak for most people on in the Stanford community when everyone's just desperate to be back on campus.